Right, I'm just going to try and explain this peak shelf um, filter. Um, the morph is where the frame starts. Zero, I think, will start with a low frame. 255 will start at the high frame in terms of um, modulation. Um, the peak value below is the overall um, volume setting of the whole filter. And then the peak value of each frame is its volume. The shelf is a high pass filter essentially. And the filter frequency at the top is the um, the cutoff of a low pass filter essentially. Um, so what I've done is set up um, an LFO to the filter frequency at 100% and then used a square wave at a really slow rate so that I can hear it switching between the frames instead of transitioning just so that I can make clear in my own mind um, how it sounds or how each frame sounds um, so if I can just play the sample so yeah you've got um, you got the low you can hear it basically switching between frames Now the um, the peak value of the low frame is a lot lower because essentially you're letting in all the bass with a minus shelf value and you're cutting off all the high end so it's going to have loads of energy compared to this high frame which has been high passed and the filter is open. So if you start um, bringing up the peak of the, the low frame it's going to distort I would guess. Or too bad, but it will in, in a lot of cases. Um. So you can clearly hear that that makes sense in terms of the way I've just explained the settings. It's going from this low frame to a fully high passed and open filter. Um, hope you can hear that on the video. And then if, once you've set or got an idea of what's going on, you can use a, a LFO that's going to transition between the two states more smoothly. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. I mean, I've only got a couple of minutes to do this video, so hopefully that explains it. Okay, any questions, just post them up. Cheers.